Hi, this is the voice of Miss Wondersmith, and welcome back to our Wonder Stitcher fairy tale channel. This is where my partner and I concoct and create a fairy tale comprised of a bizarre edible creation, an original fairy tale, and a magical photo shoot. Here you can follow along and subscribe to see all the steps along the way. Today I'm demonstrating how I made the Amanita crowns for the last photo shoot. And I'll be walking you along the process as we go so you can make your own if you want to. The first step, which you saw at the very beginning of this video, was to prepare the Amanitas for becoming parts of crowns by cutting off the bamboo skewer that I used to create them. If you want to see how I made the mushrooms, they're in the previous video in this series. Now I'm creating the crowns out of just tie wire, a thick wire, um, covered in floral tape, which is a great way to make lightweight crowns. I sized the main loop to my head, leaving a little bit of extra space for the wrapping so that it would still fit. And then I added a second loop that's a little bit bigger than the first. As you can see, once it's on the mannequin head, it sticks up a little bit further so I can attach the mushrooms to both for more stability. Then I just hot glued them in place. I wanted to really strengthen the bond between the crown and the mushroom, so I added hot glue to the back and used a faux leaf to kind of glue both of them in place. This also made the back of the crown look a lot neater. Then I filled in the gaps on the front with some dried moss, which I glued in place around and between the mushrooms. I also wanted to add some extra details, so I cut small pieces of a faux fern garland and added the little ferns to the moss, kind of covering up parts of the mushrooms and peeking out from the moss in a kind of organic, natural way. Once I was happy with how that looked, the crown was finished and time to move on to the makeup look, which I tested on myself first. I started with a Ben Nye cream red paint, which sticks really well and I find is very saturated in color. Um, I applied it to my face, starting at the corner of my eye and then moving down into my cheek, kind of across my cheekbone. The goal is to create a sort of masked look, but there were certain areas that I wanted a deeper concentration of color. Once I had a good mask kind of flushed in, it was time to add a little bit to the tip of my nose and blend in those edges. I then used a translucent setting powder over the whole area to make a stable base to apply richer color. Then I went in and darkened areas like the corner of my eye and my cheekbone and blended it in really well. Then I used a big soft clean brush to really blend those edges. Next I applied a nice thick layer of white opaque mascara to both my top and bottom lashes. Then I used a white liquid eyeliner to add spots of various sizes to the red areas of my face, including my nose and my cheeks. I wanted to make sure some of the dots were fairly large so that they'd show up well on camera. The next step was a nice red lip. I used a bright red lip liner to first line the edges of my lips and then fill them in completely. The last step was using this liquid hair color to add some white around my face um, to be evocative of mycelium. And the way I did this was just to dab a bunch onto a fine hairbrush and then brush my hair with it. Then to put the look together, I just had to put on my beautiful handmade crown. As you can see, I added some other small mushrooms just for a little extra detail. I also made those out of model magic in a similar way to how I made the Amanitas. And again, you can watch that process of creating the Amanita mushrooms on the previous video. Now that I had the look all figured out for my models, it was time to find those models, bake up some crazy treats, and head out into the woods for a photo shoot. Stay tuned to see the rest of this project come together. Thanks for joining me on our Wonder Stitcher fairy tale channel. And make sure you check in next Fairy Tale Friday for more behind the scenes glimpses of this fun project. I can't wait to show you how it all came together and the finished photographs that came from this wonderful collaboration. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future updates and I will see you next time. Until then, magic always. Mwah.